the Tata Open Maharashtra. Over the years, you might have been acquainted with this ATP tournament in India by many names. Either you might have known it as the McDowell Open or Gold Flakes Open from back in the day, or more recently as the Chennai Open. India's premier ATP tournament is entering its 26th year and it's time to reacquaint ourselves with its history. Here's a look at 25 memories from the 25 years gone by. If you've attended this tournament in any of the years and want to share your favourite memory with us, do tweet to us at SportsStarWeb or comment on this video to let us know. Let's start at the very beginning. With a goal to bring world-class tennis action to India, the McDowell Open was inaugurated in New Delhi in 1996. The first edition of the tournament came with its own dose of star power with the likes of 1996 Olympic silver medalist Tim Henman and former world number one and Wimbledon champion Jonathan Stark in attendance. This gave Indian tennis audiences an opportunity to watch some of the biggest names in the game play from close quarters. 1997 marked the first year of the tournament in Chennai and among the biggest draws at the time was German tennis legend Boris Becker, who graced the tournament with his presence. More importantly though, India's ace double pair of Leander Pace and Mahesh Bhupati marked their arrival in the tennis world by lifting their first ever doubles title in this edition. The 1998 edition was a special one for former world number one Patrick Rafter of Australia. He won the singles title in Chennai and then in the same year clinched his second consecutive US Open title. More success came Leander and Mahesh's way in 1999 as the duo won their third doubles title after defeating Wayne Black and Neville Godwin in the finals. In 2000, the tournament was included as part of the ATP International Series, which was later renamed the ATP Tour 250 in 2009. In 2001, Zimbabwe tennis stars Wayne Black and Byron Black, who had won the US Open and French Open respectively but with separate partners, came together for the Chennai Open only that year and finished the tournament as champions. In 2002, Leander Pace and Mahesh Bhupati added a fourth doubles title to their name and became the only Indian pair to achieve this feat in the history of the tournament. After finishing the 2002 edition as the runner-up, Thailand's Paradon Sri Chapan did one better in the 2003 edition and got his hands on the trophy. In the same year, he became the first men's single player from Asia to break into the top 10 of the ATP rankings. 2004 saw the tournament witnessing early glimpses of tennis great Rafael Nadal as he made his maiden appearance here. Then only 17 years old, Nadal teamed up with compatriot Tommy Robredo to back the doubles title. In 2005, Spanish legend Carlos Moya left quite an impression on the folks in Chennai after he won back-to-back -back titles at the tournament. It was also the 18th title of the former world number one's career. Now we love a good spoiler and 2006 gave us just that. Wildcard Ivan Lubicic ended Carlos Moya's quest for a hat-trick of titles and lifted the trophy. 2007 marked the second time that Rafael Nadal came to the tournament. By then though, he was a two-time French Open champion. Partnering with Bartolome Salva Vidal, he finished as runner-up in the doubles event. But 2008 was really the year that saw the Spanish flavour in the Chennai Open boiling over. An iconic all-Spanish semi-final between Carlos Moya and Rafael Nadal took place. And it was one of the longest three-setter matches in the history of tennis, as Nadal emerged winner with a 6-7, 3-7, 7-6, 10-8, 7-6-7-1 victory. 2009 marked a so-near-yet-so-far moment for then-24-year-old Somdev Devarman who could just pose with the trophy after becoming the first Indian to finish as runner-up in the singles event in the tournament's history. In 2010, Marin Silic defended his title successfully after defeating Swiss superstar Stan Wawrinka in the final. It was his second title at the tournament. In 2011, Wawrinka made a very strong comeback and clinched his maiden title as the tournament celebrated 15 years of promoting tennis in India. In 2012, Canadian Milos Raonic impressed everyone when he recorded back-to-back -back wins over top 10 players for the first time in his career. This included wins over Nicolas Almagro in the semi-final and Janko Tipserovic in the final. Raonic began that year with his second ATP title. 
In 2013, the pair of Stan Wawrinka and Benoit Paire won their maiden ATP doubles title here. In 2014, India's double star Rohan Bopanna partnered with Pakistan's Azamul Haq Qureshi and would have liked a similar fate but had to settle for a quarterfinals finish. In 2015, Stan Wawrinka beat Aljaz Beden to lift his third title and broke Carlos Moya and Marin Cilic's record of the most number of singles titles at the tournament. Cilic and Moya had won the tournament twice. In 2016, Wawrinka completed his hat-trick of titles and won his fourth by defeating Borna Koric in the final. 2017 marked the last year of the tournament in Chennai as Roberto Bautista Agut won the singles title while the Indian pair of Rohan Bopanna and Jeevan Nedunjalian emerged winners in the doubles. In 2018, the tournament shifted to Pune's Balewadi Stadium as the Tata Open Maharashtra after more than two decades in Chennai. Jeel Simon and the duo of Robin Haas and Matve Middlecup won singles and doubles titles respectively. The 2018 Wimbledon finalist and top seed Kevin Anderson from South Africa won the 2019 title after falling short in the earlier edition. In 2020, Czech Republic's Jiri Veselý ended his 5-year-long title drought when he was crowned champion in the latest edition of the Tata Open Maharashtra. World number 15 Aslan Karatsev Defending champion Jiri Vesely, India's Yuki Bamri and ace double star Rohan Bopanna will be among the names in the tennis world vying for top honors in the upcoming edition. You can catch all of the action from Pune scheduled from January 31st to February 6th on Sportstar. So log on to www.sportstar.thehindu.com to keep up. Thank you so much for watching.